In this video, we're going to look at stationary points. So stationary points is where the gradient is zero. So where dy dx is equal to zero, they can be a maximum, which is a top turning point here. So that's a maximum. It can be a minimum, which is the bottom turning point. Or it can be a point of inflection. So that's where the gradient goes to zero, but then it carries on going in the same direction. So like the x cubed graph, the gradient goes to zero, but then it carries on going in the same direction. So a maximum is a top turning point, a minimum is a bottom turning point, and a point of inflection is where the gradient goes to zero, but then it carries on going in the same direction. And we can determine the nature of a stationary point by looking at this d2y dx2, which means the gradient of the gradient. So we can look at the gradient of the gradient to find out whether it's a minimum, a maximum, or, well, or if we don't know. So if I look at a maximum point here, the maximum point here, you can see that the gradient was positive, and then it was zero, and then it was negative. So the gradient is going down at a maximum. So the gradient of the gradient is negative. So if the gradient of the gradient is negative, that means I've got a maximum. And if I look at a minimum, you can see that we've got a negative gradient, and then it, it gets bigger ends up being a positive gradient. So that's increasing. So if the gradient of the gradient is going up bigger than zero, we've got a minimum. And if the gradient of the gradient is zero, that means we don't actually know. So it could be a maximum, a minimum, or a point of inflection. So we've got if d2y dx2, if the gradient of the gradient is positive, if, sorry, if the gradient of the gradient is negative, we've got a maximum. If the gradient of the gradient is positive, we've got a minimum. So we can use this to work out the nature of a stationary point. Okay, here we've got a question. Find the coordinates of any stationary points on this curve and determine their nature. So to find the coordinates of the stationary points, stationary points are where dy dx is zero, where there's no gradient. So we're going to find dy dx, make it equal to zero, and find out where the stationary points are first. So let's do that. So dy dx, we're going to times by the power, take one off the power. So 3x squared minus 6x minus 9. So there's our gradient function. We need to know where it's equal to zero. So we've got 3x squared minus 6x minus 9 equals zero. So we're going to solve it if we divide by 3 first and then factorize it. So x is 3 and x is minus 1. So they are the x coordinates of the stationary points. If we substitute these back into the original, we can find the y coordinates to go with them. So when x is 3, y is 3 cubed minus 3 lots of 3 squared minus 9 threes plus 1. So we're going to have 27 minus 27 minus 27 plus 1, which is minus 26. So we've got a turning point at 3 minus 26. And the other one when x is minus 1. So when x equals minus 1, we've got minus 1 cubed minus 3 lots of minus 1 squared, minus 9 minus 1s, plus 1. So we've got minus 1 
minus 3 plus 9 plus 1, which is 6. So we've got minus 1, 6. So we've got the coordinates of our stationary points, but we still need to determine the nature of them. So what we need to do to, to determine the nature of stationary points is do the gradient of the gradient. So we've got, this is the gradient. We're going to find the gradient of the gradient. So we're going to times by the power, take one off the power, and times by the power, by the power take one off the power. So that leaves us with 6x minus 6. So we've got these two stationary points, and we need to determine the nature of them. So all we're going to do here, for when x is 3, so when x is 3, the gradient of the gradient is 6 times 3 minus 6, which is 12. So that's positive. So therefore, it's a minimum. So this is a minimum. And exactly the same for this one. So when x is minus 1, the gradient of the gradient is 6 minus 1's minus 6, which is minus 12. So negative, therefore, it's a maximum. So this one is a maximum. Okay, here's another question. Uh, pause the video. Try and see if you can do this one. And then I'll go through the answers after. Okay, so again, we need to find the coordinates of the stationary points. So that means find out where dy dx, where the gradient function is zero. So we're going to go dy dx. And that's 3x squared minus 3 this time. Where is it equal to 0? Well, 3x squared minus 3 is 0. So, x squared minus 1, if I divide through by 3 equals 0. So, if I factorise it, I've got x plus 1, x minus 1 equals 0, using the difference of two squares there. So, x is minus 1, and x is 1. It says coordinates, so we need to find the y coordinates as well. So, when x is minus 1, y is minus 1 cubed, minus 3 minus 1s, minus 2, which is minus 1 plus 3 minus 2, which is 0. So it's minus 1, 0. And when x is positive 1, we've got 1 cubed minus 3 1s minus 2, which is 1 minus 3 minus 2, which is minus 4. So that's 1 minus 4. Okay, they're the coordinates of the stationary points. Now we need to determine the nature of them. So that means doing the gradient of the gradient. So here's the gradient. So the gradient of the gradient is just 6x. So we times by the power, take one off the power, just 6x. So when x is minus 1, the gradient of the gradient, minus 1, the gradient of the gradient is 6 minus 1s, which is minus 6, and that's negative, therefore it's a maximum. So this is a maximum, and when x is 1, 
the gradient of the gradient is six ones, which is six, and that's positive. Therefore, it's a minimum. And this one's a minimum.